Let's take a look at the improvements to the flattened surface command in SOLIDWORKS 2016. We'll just go ahead and open this part here. Okay, now in this scenario, what we want to do is create a label that sits on this top face here. Now, in order for us to create the developed shape of that label, um, we're going to use the flattened surface command. Now, the flattened surface command came in in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Uh, it was a great tool, but it had one sort of major limitation, and that was that it couldn't deal with internal cutouts. I'm pleased to say in this release that limitation has been removed. So if we launch the flatten surface command, we just select our face and then select the edge that we want to flatten it from. And as you can see, it does a very good job of dealing with those internal cutouts. We also have an additional box on the property manager to allow us to select additional entities. And this allows us to pick curves or sketches located on the surfaces to flatten. So if we go into that box, we have a curve here that makes up this arrow. We just select the entities from that. And you can see it projects it onto our flattened surface as sketch geometry. Now if we just exit the tool and have a look at how at the result we get, you can see it's done a really, really good job there. Now if I right click on this, we have the option to show a deformation plot. And this will show us where we get in stretching and compression on our label. Now if I increase the size of this face, we should increase the amount of stretching and compression we have on it. And as you can see, we're getting 0.5% and minus 1% compression here. Now, that could lead to distortion on the label or folds or, or creases or air bubbles where it's compressing. Now, to deal with that, we can actually just go back into the flatten surface command. And within the property manager for that, we have the option to specify relief cuts. And that allows us to select curves or sketches on the face of the flattened surface. So I'm just gonna make that box active and select the curve here and the curve here. And you can see it puts a relief cut. And if we have a look at our compression plot or deformation plot, you can see that greatly reduces the amount of stretching that we get on our model. Now finally here, the last thing that I want to do is just export this out. So let's just go and hide our curves. We'll isolate our body here. Or into ourselves normal too. And then we'll export that to DXF. We'll select an annotation view, press OK. And then what we should find is we get the outline of the flattened surface as well as anything that we've brought on as additional entities, so the arrow in this case. So some, so some really nice improvements to the flattened surface command in SOLIDWORKS 2016. We can now support internal cutouts and additional 2D geometry. We can support relief tears and we have an accurate stretch and compression plot. That brings us to the end of part one.